whatever. And don't get me wrong, $5 million later or whatever, I'm going to always be the same person. But it's just, you know, the setting changes mm -hmm. on certain things. You know, I'll still go pull up on the hood, but it don't make sense to me just be always hanging in the hood. Watch out, boom shots. Y'all tell him to send us a meek little bit of murmur now. So this one, y'all sure shot to kill us. Boom shots. Boom shots. How do you keep so chilled? I mean, I'm sitting here. I can. You're just like chilled. You're like, okay. You know, there's no pressure. It will be what it is, which is the attitude most creatives should have. But it doesn't mean they do have. But you definitely seem to have that. I mean, how do you do that in this day and age when the pressure is on? I mean, well, you know, a lot of times pressure only comes from how much pressure you put on yourself. So I don't put that much pressure on myself. You know, like I work on my album. Like I worked on my album almost by myself or whatever in all honesty um, and just in general like you know that's how I started you know like I do everything myself and all my success came from as far as a musical standpoint my team like the people who work for me like they're wonderful you know they do their job but as far as like an artist you know as far as pressure is like I can't really put pressure on myself because I only do music when I feel inspired to do it so it's like if you said something today I was like man I should turn that into a song, and then I heard a beat that matches with that idea, then I'll make that song. Now, whatever that song turns into is whatever, you know, but as far as like, oh, this is a hit, this is number one, dude, who knows, mm. you know, whatever, and it's like, it's good music, somebody's going to enjoy it, and that's all I give a crap about. And, all you can, and if you're enjoying it, right? Yeah, definitely, like, like you gotta think, I make, <laughs> like, these <laughs> days I've been really... Like, I'll start to listen, like, I was listening to Lady Gaga's new album, which is really dope. And, like, while I was listening to it, I just feel like felt the urge on the plane over here to Miami to go listen back to my album. Like, I just want to go back and listen to it mm -hmm. because it's just, it's not like everybody else's album. And to me, that's a good thing. From a business standpoint, we don't know if it's a good or bad thing because it's the people who buy the albums. We don't make people buy the albums. All we do is make the music as artists, you know? So just in general... For me personally, I can personally tell you that it's jamming. It's not like anything that you've heard this year. From And I'm speaking from a hip-hop standpoint because that's what... I look at myself as an artist, but that's what label they have me under. Yeah. And as a hip-hop artist, I'm a rapper. And I look at myself as just an artist and a person who I can do whatever I want. And I do whatever I want. You know, when you hear this album, you'll be able to hear that. You know, but I mean, just in general, man, it's going to be, it's fun. You know, you have a good time and I'm living life, you know, and as far as like one of the main things are taken care of, everything else is kind of like, okay, you know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, well, all right, it wasn't meant to happen. So you're saying it's almost finished. I mean, you have like any mad collabs? Because I know with your remix, you had like serious collabs on that. Yeah, and I mean, that remix, that remix was a remix, but it's just nothing like the original. So, I'm not really big on... When it really, when I really looked at it, I'm not really big on just um, collecting names or yeah, like, like that. you know, like my album is mostly me. Cool. You know, because I feel like I make good music. Like I'm my own entity. Yeah. Like, like when you say Trinidad James, you don't think of any other artist. Like you think, oh, that guy, I know him, because I know of him. You know, what I'm saying like I was like, oh, are you talking about the guy who's with this person? No, nah, it's just Trinidad James. So with that being said, I felt like I didn't have to beg or really reach out like oh man please i need this feature or that feature have you got, is it all solo no it's not or whatever and i think whenever it's, when i get a, a solid date i feel like that's when i'll tell you like the minimal artists i got like five artists on there you can give uh, us one name can't do it oh, um we did most of the production or whatever it's a really in-house project or whatever i worked with dallas austin Oh, whatever. He's what wonderful. was that like? Yeah. Well, he's wonderful. He's a musical genius. He's a musical genius. Like, like I know how music sounds. Like everything for me is how it sounds. I didn't go to school for anything, you know. So I don't yeah. know anything of like as far as what this is called or that that tri nothing. Yeah. But I only know what good music sounds like. Like I'm a sonic person. I work straight sonically. If it sounds, if it flows, it goes. <laughs> You know, so because like everything that I say is just based off of my life. 
So it's just like true stories. So it's kind of like, you know, if you can relate to their story, then woo. If you can't, well, okay. But at least it sounds good. You know, so just in general, like working with him, though, he helps me to understand like music because he knows it so well and he's been doing it like he's been successful since he was 16 you know so I mean it's just wonderful and he's a big fan of my music and he just understands how different I am because it's just so different man it's like when you hear it you're gonna be like man I gotta listen again you know like I, I just gotta listen again if you had to sum it up like the sound you're saying it's completely different to all gold everything it's like completely if you had to sum it up what would you say what would what what would you say it was or it would sound like it sounds like where i'm at right now in life it sounds like a new artist who came out with his own identity had a smash and that smash took him out to a lot of different places mm -hmm. met a lot of different people and I learned so much. You know, I didn't do everything right, but I didn't do everything wrong either. And the album is a reflection of me as where I'm at. And as far as how I look at each song, is I make a lot of music in general. I don't release a lot of music, but I make a lot of music as far as just, I got a lot of music collected. So I don't make a lot of music, but I got a lot of music that I just held on to. And in general, I feel that these songs that I consider my album songs, each song is worth a dollar. Like, I feel like this is a song that if I was to release it, I feel like whether I was signed to Def Jam or, or not, you know, it would be like, dude, this is like, you would have to buy this because it's really worth each song at least $1, you know? So, I mean, so we'll see how it goes. This is the creme de la creme of all the stuff you make. You Basically, I'm like, you know, this is the music that I feel, I feel like it's timeless. I feel that if you're, if you're already a fan off of mm -hmm. my first project and my second project, this album is like, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> you know, like, I really appreciate it's you. It's like, this was worth the wait. Yeah, it's, I appreciate him. I appreciate him. And, I mean, because, like, most of my fans, honestly, they're a fan of me, the person. You know? And the music is just, oh, yeah, it's him talking about his life. You know? So, I mean, if, once you already are locked into understanding, like, oh, I like him, the person, then the music is just a soundtrack to my life. Definitely. So it's wonderful, man. Yeah. Is it hard? I mean, is it hard? I know. I mean, I probably haven't got time to ask this, but I'm, I'm always curious because, you know, you started, like you said, an underground artist and you always keep it real. You talk about real shit. But as, you know, you make more hits and you make more records and you make more money and you make, you know, you have different stages in life, as you say. Of course you do. Is it harder and harder to keep it real, as they say? It probably is. It probably is. You know, I feel that I'm in the perfect place because I made money. I've, I've met so many people, but I just kept it so real with everybody from the beginning of my appearance on the scene that it's, it's easy for me to just keep it real because that's what you expect. You know, like you don't expect nothing but real. So if I get any success from anything else, it's just going to be based off of, well, that's real. Oh, yeah, that's him. But, you know, it is a valid question because you can't imagine it. It must be hard, right? You seem like a grounded individual, so you're keeping that down for yourself. But I'm sure it must be difficult in the experiences you guys get. Yeah, I mean, you got to think about it. Every artist is different. And don't get me wrong, $5 million later or whatever, I'm going to always be the same person. But it's just, you know the setting changes mm -hmm. on certain things. You know, I'll still go pull up on the hood, but it don't make sense to me just be always hanging in the hood. Yeah. You know, like it just doesn't make sense. Man, the whole thing about, like I said, my life is based off of just how real I've been keeping it since I was 20 years old with everybody from the streets to, well now, famous people and the celebrities that I know and, and football players and business people and whoever you are, you know, interviewers. It's just like, you know me as, man, that guy's just always been straight to the point and a good soul, you know? So, I mean, me 10 years from now, me 20 years from now with $5 or $500 million, at the end of the day, whatever I tell you is going to be the truth and it's going to be my honest opinion, how I feel. I'm not really big on sparing people's feelings. 
or any of those type of things. It's just not my type of, it's not my way, you know? Like, I, nobody never did it for me when I was coming up. So I don't really know how to do that, you know? Or so feel the need. Yeah, it's just like, because I know how to talk to people respectfully. Like, I could tell you about yourself respectfully. It's just, I feel like a lot of the problems in life stem from how you talk to people. Not really what you say, it's kind of just, you know, your cadence and, and the way you say it or the timing. Timing is everything.